Time, just by just by cleaning up the power curve, you can start seeing the transition. My main thing was focus on transition. This is gonna be a pump gas car, so it's not like it's gonna be like like high like high power seven eight hundred horsepower plus. You know what I'm saying power band. So I wanted to feel strong for what you're working with here. So the power band, you can see from every pull, the power band starts pulling up earlier, pulling up earlier, pulling up earlier, and that's the main thing. It's just trying to get trying to get the transition. Try to get the transition, try to get the transition. And then like here, a little bit of here, I think this a little bit of, it got a little wavy. I think that because of the boost control, it wasn't staying, like, when I started it, it will like, it will be like 18, 19, 18, 19, and it will like, like, like that. But when I started applying more um, duty on the controller, then it was like, when I floored it, by the time I got into the power band, it stayed, it stayed exactly the boost consistency the whole way. Nice. It read the same PSI the whole way, and that's why you can see the difference in the shape of the shape of that of that band. Um, nice. It made 464. It can make way more torque, obviously. Uh, this turbo on E85 is good up to like 650 foot pound of torque. 650. Wow. I've seen some guys 670, 660. Um, but the thing is, you being on pump gas. That's the that's the main thing is. You being on pump gas, 
for me to make more torque, I would have to work that turbo a lot harder down low, right. and then also out the back, make a little more power as well. But I'm trying to keep it where you want to be. Uh, yeah. You said like anything in the upper fives. Yeah, that's pretty much right there yeah, in the upper right, fives. Right on. So, uh, but I think it's pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah. Like that's I said, the higher the higher we're gonna go and rev it out, it, it just keeps making power. Yeah. Power, the power don't fall off yet. So like whenever you get on it. I've, I've, I've rolled with some people and I would, they'll do a pull and I'm like, well, did you full throttle it? No, did I full throttle it? Did you go all in red line or full throttle? They were like, they were like, no, I didn't. I'm like, bro, this thing doesn't stop making power to, to red line. Like, as you keep going, it's just going to keep pulling you right. until it hits that, until you get the shift. So um, it just, it don't fall off, bro. You're going to yeah. feel it. When, it. when it curves like this, you're going to feel it like that. No, it's not pulling. You're going to feel it like that. Sometimes you get cars that curve like this, go curve early, right. and then it'll start tapering right. slowly down, stuff like that. Right. This right here is all just trying to iron out the power band, iron out the power band all the way right. straight up. So that's why I was doing half pulls right. before. I want to make sure the AFR was good. I want to make sure the boost was good. And then once I felt comfortable, that's when I did a full hit at 509. And I, did, and I felt comfortable. And I'm like, all right. That's why I had to sit down with you. I was like, well, how much power do you want to really right. make? I know by the next pull I do, it's going to be yeah. either close to it or yeah. or a little over it. So yeah. um, so when you said that, I was like, all right. I'll leave, I'll leave it right there. And if you said if you wanted less, I would pedal pedal it back yeah. a little bit. I would have slowed it. I would have slowed it down a like hair below it. Right. So it did wherever you kind of wherever you're comfortable with. Right. Um, but I think overall, like yeah, big, it's, it's big different. Difference. It's different, bro. Yeah, I'm telling difference. you, your E85 is going to reflect what your 93 is. So if this is your 93. This oh, this yeah. is your power band. Right. This is how much you made a 93. Right. Can you imagine what we're going to do on E? Well, whatever, however, like I said, the power band picks up, it picks right. up, picks up. Once I go on E where I can yeah. make this turbo work harder, yeah. and I can actually um, I can put more timing in it, right. I, can get, I can get a little bit more aggressive, this whole thing will go like, it'll start picking up a lot earlier. Right. And it's gonna just, oh, wow. it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna shine over it. Wow. And you know what I'm saying? Easily as is, bro, I think this is a, a solid 830, 840, 860 car. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's on cool. E on a good E85, yeah, yeah. not like what we had. We had, found, yeah. yeah, we had some bad ethanol. If um, you if you hadn't caught that, yeah, because the thing is, I test every fuel that come in. No matter if they say, nah, it's good, it's good, da da da. I'm like, bro, I just gonna test it. If my tester shows good, your yeah. sensor shows and that's good. From a good gas station. And, and that was from a good gas station. Yeah. And I, 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 I'm, then I can tune it with peace of mind. Right. I don't want to tune it and I'm like, okay, I, I hear a little, I feel a little something. I want to pick that the gas is bad. Right. You know, let's stop right now. Waste some time. Like, so I said, I didn't want to waste time. I didn't want to waste yeah. your time. But if we didn't test it, it could have been a, it could have been, a, it could have been a bad day. No, from an awesome day to it could have been a bad day. Yeah. But, um, but I'd rather you say, you know what, let's do it on ninety three. Yeah, and just iron it out, and yeah. then we'll come back. And we'll, we'll have will, to come um, back. We'll it's worth it's worth coming come. back. <laughs> I mean, I can't I can't imagine what it's gonna be like, man. On the eighty five. Yeah, on the eighty five, I think this thing probably would do like flip on the torque and easily five forty, five sixty foot yeah. pounds, maybe five seventy foot pounds, and then like in the upper upper eight hundreds. You know, so like I'll get everything ironed out that you told me about, which. Yeah. Like I said, nobody ever even took the time to talk to me about all that stuff. Really? The fact that you went through everything like that, and now I have a list, I know what I got to work on. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. So I guess I said, as I see problems, regardless if I know it, even if it's on your end, my end, I don't care who end. If I see problem, I'm going to point it out. And it might not be anything for you to, to fix right now, but I'm going to be like, yo, just let me let you know. Temperature is a little hot in this car, right, right. and as I keep tuning it, I'll let you know this thing is you know you need to fix this, yeah, yeah. or this thing I can't get the fueling right with this because I think it's because of that. You right, know, regardless right. what it is, I just I try to stay in that communication with yeah, the yeah. So, like when you leave here, you already familiarized with your car. Yeah. You already know problems of your car now that, that, you, did, that not, you didn't know before no or from previous shots. And I would not find out. No, no one was going to tell me that. Right. You know what I mean, so no one was gonna tell me. But I think we're good now. Um, I will unload it. We'll go on the street, test drive it, we'll see how it eats, and we'll, right. we'll go from there, bro. And have this thing, have this thing washed up for the meat. Yeah, for, I need for to Sunday. Sunday. Yeah.
right, man. So we just finished our session and the test drive. So overall, tell me how today went. Uh, amazing, amazing. At first, you know, I was uh, kind of worried about uh, the E85 issues we had, but um, I'm definitely coming back to get that sorted out. Uh, just seeing how the pump tune went and everything, uh, you'd have to be an idiot not to come back. Yeah. <laughs> so how does it feel? We, we started off remote tuning first. So tell me, a lot of people are a little skeptical on yeah. remote tuning. How was that service for you? And that and, and how did it feel doing that with me first? Yeah, yeah uh, honestly, uh, I've never done it. Um, honestly, I, I didn't know how it went, how it worked out, but or how you know how you do that. But you talked to me on the phone. We was on speakerphone. I'm driving the car. You're, you're walking me through everything step by step. Um, it felt like you were right in the car with me the whole time. Um, and after the remote tune, the way you had the car feeling, idling, uh, running like if it was stock, um, smooth, you ironed out all those little issues, I knew I had to make the trip, and that's, that's when I talked to the wife, and we decided, all right, we're gonna drive from Maryland all the way down to yeah. Orlando, Florida, because it's worth it, and right. we were right. Yeah. All right, so how did it feel like difference between the previous tune and the current tune that you're on, the power band, yeah. um, the boost, everything. How did that feel from before and then now? I'll say the biggest thing is cleaner, uh, smooth, instant. You you have the best of both worlds. You're driving through the street, you know, through the neighborhood, through the streets, and it feels like you're driving a stock Evo. But then when you get on it, everything you need is right there. It's, <laughs> it's sick. Yeah. All right, bro. Well, you came all the way from how yeah. far you came from? From Maryland. Maryland. Yeah, so, uh, fourteen hours. Fourteen yeah. hours, yeah. bro. Come yeah. here to get tuned. I appreciate you coming through, man. Absolutely. All right, man. Thank you. Man. Thank you very much, appreciate bro. It. All right, no worries, man. This is Desmond Pierre here at Performance Destination, bringing you another customer. Um, this time, he's coming all the way from Maryland. That's right, from Maryland all the way to Orlando, Florida, here at our dyno facility to get his car in shape, get his car ironed out, get it right. Um, we started off remote tuning him first. He wanted to get everything ironed out before making the trip. He wanted to see how well we can try to get it as much as possible before tuning an in-person tune. And I think that's actually a smart idea, actually. So, so we did a remote tune, got it all ironed out. You know, I'm not there to feel the car. He said this car feels way better than it ever felt before. Um, even at the same boost level, even at the um, lower boost level than where he was on his previous tune. He said this car never felt this, um, this good. And the funny thing is, we didn't even lean on it too hard. We didn't even do the E85 portion of the, of the map yet. That's just 93. He drove it all the way down here, anywhere between 14 to 18 hour drive to Florida. Um, and it ran phenomenal. He drove it nonstop after he remote tuned it, got it cleaned up for drivability and, um, if, and, and also making pulls. But the car drove the trip all the way down here. No trailer, no truck and trailer, no dolly, no nothing. He drove in, he has his stuff. Came all, the way, came all the way down here, um, and the car, he said the car ran perfect, you know, and that's a true testament. That's the number one thing. That's a true testament of how well that tune was, or how well that quality was, down of all the bugs we worked out. As Soon as he got here, we tested his E85 um, beforehand, um, and I wanna make sure that we tune it on E85, a, a clean, good ethanol content. He, had, he brought some from local around here, here in Orlando, um, we tested it and it actually, we have it right here, and it actually tested really, really low. It tested right at 55% ethanol content. So for me personally, I won't even do anything lower than 70%. Um, 70 is usually my lowest limit of where I want to be with ethanol percentage. Um, because obviously at 55%, that's not a quality um, fuel that we're using for his, for his car. And if it's not quality, I don't want to tune it, I don't want to push it. So. We was supposed to do flex fuel today, 93 and 85. But as of right now, um, there's some bad E85 quality going around. So we just did it on only 93. He told me, just try to get me roughly around in the upper 500s. Um, it's a fully built setup. Um, it's O-ringed. Um, it has everything, you know, it has a 6466 turbo, ID 2000cc injectors, double pumper. It has a sequential transmission. Um, so I just, that's what, exactly what I did. Just start ironing out the bugs, shaping it out from ground load to top. You know, that's how I like to do it. When someone comes to me with issues, I work it from brand new from start to finish, from, from scratch. 
So this way I know where I'm at and I'm not chasing down issues that he had previously before that could have been tuning related. Um, the first pull we did was right around the lower 400s, 339 and 471. By the time I got the 471, I kind of really realizing like this thing's gonna make some power because that was barely any boost and I let out. Um, as soon as I got to 509, I asked him, where do you where do you exactly wanna be at? Because I'm already at 509 and I haven't even leaned on the car yet. Um, he said, just give me right around the upper 500s. I'm like, all right, I already know where he wanted. Um, so we put him up, it made uh, 606 on pump gas, 93 pump gas, 606. Torque was right around 464. Um, and the car started shaping out, started making like amazing pulls right off the back. Every pull was, the, was better than the last. Every pull was cleaner than the last. Every pull, the power band started picking up sooner earlier and carrying out better than the last and then the final pull at 606 it cleaned it all the way out you know um, when i tune these cars i don't just tune it to make a number i tune it to first of all make it make it reliable because you want things to stay together and then i tune it for the power band the power curve because the power curve is what's going to make it feel fast when he gets on it and he rolls through the gears in that sequential box it feels fast because the power band feels nice it's not falling off, it's not feeling lazy, um, it's not feeling inconsistent, it all feels healthy and strong. And that's what we're trying to do here. Um, and I told him, if this is what your 93 map is looking like, imagine what your E85 map's gonna look like. I told him, I could feel it. This car is gonna make a lot of a lot of jam. Even though it's a 6466, you know, it's a very good mid-upper 800 horsepower-ish turbo, but still, it's gonna feel really, really good. The power band on the E85 is gonna actually, it's gonna stand up early and it's gonna moonshine over all the other runs it made. Um, for pump gas, making 606, that is very healthy and very promising. Um, we went on a street drive, the car ripped. He, I told him to start off in second gear and just, just let it eat. And then sure enough, you know, he went through the gears, banging it, and that car felt phenomenal, you know. Um, we drove it around Orlando just to make, cause he's had a long trip back to Maryland. So I told him, <clears throat> keep driving this car around. I want to feel it out. I want to make sure this car is going to be good to make the trip back um, because that's a long drive. And that car, no lie to you, if drove around feeling like a stock car with a sequential box, it didn't hesitate, it didn't break up, it didn't go full rich, full lean. Like it's really, really good. He did it on, we did it on a Link uh, G4 ECU. And if y'all not familiar with it, that is a very good computer system. Very, very good computer system. Um, and it's affordable for just the average guy or it's really good for, you know, the, the top racer, you know? So it really performed well. The car, the car feels like stock. It's making the power like, like where he wants it to be. He's gonna address the issues. I give him a few rundown on some of the issues he was having. Then we're gonna actually turn it up once he adjusts those issues and we actually put it on better octane of our better ethanol of the e85 and this way we're not chancing things and then you know running into issues or causing any damage so we just want to make sure things stay together things stay happy he stays happy his car stays happy and he's happy with the service if you would like to work with us you can reach me at 941-268-7493 or you can catch me on all platforms of social media at performance destination thank you for watching catch you next time you feel <laughs> that's insane you should see the video insane. Send it to the me. video looks crazy send it to me that's insane <laughs> that is insane Mm-hmm.